Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jason Thrifts and I will be your host in this how-to video series. Decided to do some how-tos so anyone who's having a problem that needs to know an answer can go right to the how-to video section of my YouTube channel, Jason T. Smith, and get that info. You don't got to wait through anything else. Just get the info. So, so far in the how-to series, did you sell something you don't have anymore? Oops, here's how to fix that so you don't incur any defects on your selling account. How to FOMO, that's one of my favorites. I've been doing it forever. How to take ceramic breakable mugs and ship them securely in a padded flat rate envelope. Now this week, how to use Terapeak to research. If you only look at eBay solds, you're only looking at a quarter of the info that's available to you at your fingertips. Now, how much is this worth? 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 And how much is this worth? Oh, that's a trick question. This is priceless because it's me as a kid. <laughs> All right. If you are looking up the things I just showed you and only looking on eBay solds, you're only getting a quarter of the picture. You must always get the full picture because if you don't have the full picture when you research, you will never get to the right price. You might be too low and then... Boom, you left money on the table, or you might be too high and it will never ever sell. So, without further ado, this is how to use Terapeak multiple times a day in my group, the Thrifting Board. Free to join, link down here. People ask, Hey, I found this item. Let's just grab one at random off my desk that looks fun. Found this item. How much is it worth? And then we always ask, because we want everyone to do their own work first. Give a man a fish, he eats for a day. Teach a man to fish, blah, blah, blah. So we always ask, what research have you done? And inevitably, usually, they're like, oh, I've looked in eBay actives and solds. And then myself or the other admins or even other members of the group will say, did you check Terapeak? And there's usually one of three answers. What's Terapeak? I didn't because I don't have it, and do I forgot, which boggles my mind because that is the ultimate research tool. Now, for those of you who are the first answer, I don't know what Terapeak is. Terapeak has been around for years and years and years and years, and what they did was they were a service that you would pay for, and they would mine eBay's sold data for a year, 365 days, so 365 days behind today, they would have that data. So if something you were looking for wasn't any actives or didn't have any solds, what you see on eBay is 90 days. Actives are what's active, obviously. Solds are 90 days. So to go back a year, sometimes you'll find the item you're looking for, and then you've got this great data. You're like, oh, it sold for $200 six months ago. Great. Now, it was such a valuable tool, eBay bought it, put it right into eBay, and for a time, gave it to only store owners. And then they realized that's such a valuable tool that every seller should have it. And so it is there right at the top of your screen in the research tab. And those that say, oh, I forgot to look at Terapeak. What? Okay, when I list an item, I start with eBay Actives. How many are there? Is it worth my time listing? Oh, not too many or none at all. Let's go to solds. Okay, I've got some data for 90 days. Let's see what it says in Terapeak, 365 days. All those things together take a couple of seconds. And then you have the full picture. So why people aren't using Terapeak is beyond me. So I thought on this how-to series, how to use Terapeak to get the right prices for your items. Now, next time I ask you, what'd you find on Terapeak? You better have an answer <laughs> because it's there, that info. That 365 days is there for you to obtain anytime you want. 
don't pass that up and don't skip it. If you can't remember to use therapy, write it down on a post-it, put it right on your computer. Things I need to remember every day, or I need to have my sister remember, it's on a post-it right in the computer. You have to look at it. You have to. And I am just shocked how people don't use therapy. So let's use it so you fully understand how to use therapy. Shall we? Here we go. All right, let's get eBay up. Let's make my big ass head small. Do, 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 do. All right, let's start with CDs because that's what I sell the most of. So first up, we have Crystal Ball by Prince. Now, there are four versions of this CD. This is the version in a regular square case with four CDs. So let's look that up on eBay Actives first. Prince, Crystal Ball, four CDs. Okay. Let's uh, switch it to the gallery view so we can see more on the screen at a time. And here we go. So there are 23 actives and we can see the prices, uh, 90, 110. Oh man, something's making that 280. Oh look, it is a Japanese import. So we're kind of ignore that because we don't have a Japanese import. <clears throat> 150, now there's the other four in the round case. The round case is different than the square case. So we're gonna ignore that too. 200, 109. So the prices are kind of varied. So now our next stop will be solds. Let's see what happens. So there are 26 solds in the last 90 days. Uh, 90, 85, 75, 97, 150. Hmm. Wonder why that one sold for so much. Oh yeah, that's mine. Cause I asked for it, but that's not this lesson right now. Uh, but just a little side lesson, ask for it. You can get it. 85, 85, 75. We're going to ignore the round one. 95, 85. Okay. So let's just quickly copy and paste that into Terapeak. Okay. So Seller Hub, not everyone has Seller Hub, I don't think. But when you click on sell, if you don't have a store, you still will see this research chat tab. I checked with someone who didn't have a store. And you click the research tab, and this is Terapeak right here. See where it says Terapeak product research? So paste, and boom. Now, the nice thing is it tells you over that year period, March 23rd, 2021 to March 23rd, 2022, the average sold price is $86. There have been 85 sold, so that's quite a lot. Uh, the average shipping price is $9.57, which seems a little bit high for this. And only one quarter of the sellers gave free shipping. Total sales over the last year is $7,300 worth of Prince Crystal Ball. And so the things we also want to look at. So now we have this average. And we know within that average, there's going to be some round ones. Because there's a round one right there. Uh, but what we want to do is see, other than the last 90 days, has that figure stayed up? Or is it going up? Is it going down? Okay, so we're marching back through March here. So 90, 97. Oh, look, there's 150. That's mine. If you don't ask, you can't get it. Now, why was this $28.85 worth of shipping? That's a problem. Because look what I charged, three bucks. I lost a dollar or so, but it made, it made it more attractive and I sold mine for more. So, you know, keep that in the back of your head. All right, 75, this one does uh, disc two only, ignore that. 90, 85, this is a round one, we're gonna ignore that. 95, 90, 65, ignore the round one. So now we're in January and let's see the next square one, 81, 224, but that's fully sealed. 48 at auction, that didn't go so well. <clears throat> 51, 59, okay, so back in December, is looking like it's in the $50 range. And then up here, we're looking like we're in the $80 to $90 range. And then my myself sold one for $150. So that shows you it's on an upward tick. So that way you should price it at that upward tick. That's exactly what you should do. All right. So that's kind of a rare CD. Let's go to something a little more popular. The Big Chill 15th Anniversary Edition. All right. So we're going to go back here. Big chill, 15th anniversary, soundtrack, CD. Oops. Spelling is very important. Big jump. There we go. 
Okay, so there are eight solds right now. Four bucks, six bucks. Now mine's used. Six bucks. Brand new for nine, so we're gonna ignore that. Four bucks. Thirteen bucks, but that's from the UK. You could get all three big chill soundtrack versions for six dollars and then a new one for nine. All right, so that's that's a total of eight solds. Now, let's go see how many actives because Actives of Souls tell you if you should list or not. Oh my gosh, there are 74 actives and only eight souls in the last 90 days. At that point, I'm good to be out and never list this because there's no point in trying to fight 74 other people. But let's take it one step further and go to Terapeak just to see what a year yields for this CD. Oops. Okay, 71 souls. So, uh, about five a month, L little more than one a week, 1.2 a week, okay? The average sold price is $4. So there are 70, what, four actives? And you're, it's, the platform is selling 1.2 a day at an average of $4. That is a waste of your time. So we see it. We see it. 90% are given free shipping. So they're selling a $4 CD with free shipping which is going to be even at media mail is going to be a little over three bucks. So don't waste your time. All right. Last CD. Then we'll go into a couple of different examples, urban cowboy. But what's cool about this one is factory sealed. So let's pop over here and we'll type in urban cowboy soundtrack. CD. Okay. There are 43 live uh, actives right now, but I'm not done. I'm, I wouldn't see that and go, Oh, I'm out because mine sealed. So let's see how the seals uh, look. So we're gonna go to brand new. So of the 43, 22 are brand new. So half are brand new. Okay, so there's 22 brand news, 10, 10, 15, someone's trying to get 27, 17, 13, 15. So I can see the average is around the $15 mark. Now let's go to solds. <clears throat> and there are 11 solds in brand new. 11, an offer less than 10, 16, that was from Australia. 16, 10, 13, 13, 12, 13, less than 16, 15. So you can see the average is about 13 of the last 90 days. Now, let's see if that average holds true over the last 365 days. And then we'll see if it is worth it for me to list on eBay. Okay, so one thing we haven't done yet is done the condition filter. Because right now... There are uh, uh, 439 solds, but we don't want to see the used. The average sold price, though, is $11.46. But let's just go to the news. So of the 439, 300 have been new. So over half. Oops. You got to check it off, and then you got to click apply. Okay, average sold price is $12.62. And then recently, 7, 12, 16, 13, 12, 11, 12, 15, 16, 14, ooh, 18, 14. Okay, so I can clearly see that 12 is still the going rate. So 90 days and 365 is about the same. And so, yeah, I'm going to list it. I only paid a couple bucks for it. I see what the going rate is. I see it sells pretty well. More than half of the ones sold are brand new. So I like that. Uh, and then 95% give free shipping. 5% don't. That's me. I don't. Okay, so that's CDs. Now, let's go to something totally different. <clears throat> this is a very cool pirate mug. Yo-ho, yo-ho. And it is made by Treasure Craft. Okay, so let's uh, do that first, and then we're going to, oops, then we're going to fine-tune it a little bit. Pirate mug, Treasure Craft. Okay, so there it is, $11.00 and ten dollars okay those are the two solds and actives uh we have one and that's it okay so you might be thinking eh, it's a big fragile uh, old mug for 10 bucks is it worth your time typically no but there's a little bit extra something on this one that i've been holding back from you but i'll tell you in a quick sec but let's go to therapy there have been five solds. Average sold price is $12. Okay. I want to see what was in these titles. This one obviously is something different. Holds about a pint or more. Okay. So they all have about the same verbiage. 
and the solds aren't that high. But here's the difference for mine. Although it's the same mug, what's going to set mine apart is that is a Walt Disney World sticker. That means this came from the gift shop right by the Pirates of the Caribbean back in the day when this was $5 plus tax, brand new. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to throw the word Disney in to see if anyone had it with the price sticker of Disney. Nope. No solds. Oops. No solds last 3365. 30, obviously, none the last 90. And no actives. So, although the same mug, the provenance is what makes it more expensive. No one's had one with the Walt Disney World sticker on the bottom. So, I'm absolutely absolutely using Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm going to make a nice collage pick, which is a different video for a different day. But I'm going to show the mug and the sticker in the first picture so people can see it is truly from Walt Disney World. All right. Let's now take a mug that has some recent sales so I can show you how I use my Terapeak to figure out my price. <clears throat> Here's the mug. It's called the Bearded Clam from Frankie's Tiki Room here in Vegas. And this is the pink version. So, yes, I need to type Frankie's Pink Bearded Clam. Okay. The actives right now is one, asking $130. Let's go to solds. Okay, three solds. <clears throat> One definitely has a line through it. The other two might have been sold for 130. But let's go check Terapeak. Okay, so the average sold price is $63. Uh, $11.61 average shipping. Only 7% are given free shipping. So this is an item you do not have to give free shipping unless you want to kick your price up and offer it and be the only one offering it. So 15 sold, total sales of almost $1,000. Now, let's look. Let's go all the way back to the first one. And back in June of 2021, they were selling for 55, 60 bucks. Uh, 43, 55, 50, 50. All right. So now we've gotten into September, and now it's bumped to 80. Oops, at auction, went back to 30. This shows you that auction's probably not the way to go. Fixed prices. So another way that Terapeak helps you, it shows you. Look, fixed price here is 80. Fixed price here is 99. Auction in the middle of those two was 30 bucks. That didn't work. Okay, 99. Oh, 100, 115. So that's the seller, even though it looks like they sold two for 130. 115, 199. So since June to March, it has went on average from 55 to 115. And there's only one for 130. Now, again, mine has something a little bit different than the rest do. Mine signed by Dirk, the designer of the mug. And so he's a world famous tattoo artist. And now we're going to add the word signed. Is there any signed? Okay. So there it is. A signed one by Dirk sold for 80 in September. So now we're going back to what we just learned. The average recently is about 110. So 80 signed in September. The average unsigned right now is 110. I would put this up for no less than $150. So that is how you use Terapeak to determine how much you're going to list an item for. But as you can see, it doesn't take that long to research. Of course, I'm talking through it. Uh, but when you're doing it on your own, boom, quick. All right, let's do one more thing. And then we'll call today. Let me get that out of the way. I just picked up this amazing vintage western leather jacket from the 70s probably it's got the leather buttons they don't do leather buttons anymore the brand is h bar c california ranch wear and the size is 48 extra long extra long on, on sports coats blazers is always good uh, but what's cool about this they had 30 bucks on it savers it was half off day i was late and this was my second saver so it was probably four hours and a half off day no one noticed this jacket so I got it for 15 bucks. All right. So let's look up a leather H bar C jacket and see what my investment brings me. H bar C leather jacket. Okay. So right away we see some solds. 
However, the first two solds are women's. This is definitely a men's jacket, 48 extra long is the man size. And then here's a hundred dollar jacket, uh, but it's a different, totally different jacket. This is uh, a leather jacket, a uh, leather jacket. They're both leather. This is a motorcycle jacket, <clears throat> but I do want to see same label that mine has, but mine's actually a little bit more vibrant, just a smidge. Uh, but my tag looks just like that, except for it says 48 extra long. All right. So now that's our recent solds. So really, we don't have the exact jacket. And although this let this motorcycle jacket is a little bit cooler, uh, $100 seems pretty good for a $15 investment. All right. So let's go to actives. And <clears throat> again, whole woman's outfit. Maybe you get the horse with it because it is $1,000. Uh, this isn't. What we're looking at this is this actually has design in it uh leather button suede elbow patches again not the jacket none of these are the jacket okay results using fewer words currently none in there so let's go check terapeak and see what that says okay solds all right <clears throat> Childs, not what we have. Size 14, that says women's to me. Women, four to six. Women, there's our, our motorcycle jacket for 100. Women's. Uh, men's gray pattern leather, that's not what we have. Vintage HBRC Western leather snake jacket. Women's again. Uh, women's. Uh, and this one has fringe. So no one has sold this jacket. But. Like I said, I can still get a jumping off point. Um, you know, this woman's jacket sold for 30, this one's over 35, but this men's motorcycle sold for 100. I don't think the one I have is cool as a motorcycle jacket, but since no one has one active, no one has had one in the last 90, and no one has had one in the last 365, I'm as I'm listed high, let it fly is what I always say. I'm gonna put it up for 150 bucks, best offer, and if I get a hundred or a little bit more, I'll be very happy with that. That that's kind of where I want to land, but maybe someone who's been waiting for a 48 extra long, they're going to take it 150. They're not even going to mess around because when you're a bigger dude, I guess a lady too. Um, and you're looking for your specific size, whether it be taller or bigger, and it shows up in a cool jacket that you've been looking for forever. You're going to just snag it. You're not going to waste time making offers you're just gonna jump right on it all right so that is how you use terapeak and it should be used every single time you sit down to list it tells you when something's rare and what to sell for it tells you when something's mediocre and what to sell for and it tells you when something is super duper common and not to even bother so this has been jason thrifts this is my how-to series. I'll be back with another one next week. And if you haven't seen them all, check out my channel right down below here, Jason T. Smith on YouTube, and enjoy the how-to series. And I'll see you around the thrift store. Peace.